Hi, this is David Archibald. I'm the Episcopal priest at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. Today is May 1st, and I'm doing my first video for our new YouTube work. The topic of this devotional is uh, joy. How and when does it arise? Joy or well-being depends really on my state of consciousness. And for our little discussion today, it'll simply mean there are two different ways of being conscious. One has to do with my ego, and the other has to do with being conscious of God. When I'm in my egoic consciousness, I could be happy, but as soon as the circumstances around me change, then the happiness turns into pain, actually. When I'm in a state of God consciousness, remembering who I am in God, well then, the very nature of that consciousness is, is joy. Joy arises naturally when I'm aware and present to God. Jesus would call this entering the kingdom of God. Paul, the saint, would call it uh, being in Christ or in the Spirit. Theologians later on in history would call this uh, being in union with God. But in any case, joy arises when I'm connected to God as a state of being. And happiness comes when I'm in a state of egoic consciousness, then everything around me has to go well. This is the real meaning and the real the secret behind the prayer we say on Sundays, which goes, it is a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to God. There's only one way that everywhere and all the time you can give thanks to God. It's not when you're in your egoic state, but only when you're conscious of God. And then, no matter what happens, you can be in a state of joy, which is independent of your circumstances. Well, thanks for listening to this first recording. See you later.